You're listening to the Experiencing God Day by Day podcast, brought to you by Blackaby Ministries International. September 4th, the key to prosperity, 2 Chronicles 31, verse 21. He was diligent in every deed that he began in the service of God's temple, in the instruction and the commands in order to seek his God, and he prospered. There is a way to ensure that you prosper in what you do. Serve the Lord with all your heart. Hezekiah, king of Judah, lived in a dangerous and tumultuous time. He faced powerful enemies. Idolatry was the popular religion of the day. His parents had rejected God and encouraged people to worship other gods, 2 Chronicles chapter 28. Hezekiah had the opportunity to reject God as well, yet he chose to serve God with all of his heart. He did everything in his power to promote worship of the true God. He diligently followed God's commandments. As a result of Hezekiah's determination to serve God, God blessed him. Hezekiah thrived in an unsettled time because he resolved to follow God despite popular opinion. God will honor the heart that commits to follow him. 2 Chronicles 26 verse 5 In times when worshiping God is not in vogue and when the forces of the day oppose him, it takes courage and resolve to seek after God. God is pleased to prosper those who strive to please him rather than to seek the approval of people. 1 Samuel 2, verse 30. Hezekiah stands in stark contrast to Rehoboam, an earlier king of Judah. It is said of Rehoboam that he did evil because he did not prepare his heart to seek the Lord. 2 Chronicles 12, verse 14. When you do not set your heart to seek the Lord, calamity is the inevitable result. The surest way to prosper in your endeavors is to diligently pursue the will of God. This podcast is based on the book Experiencing God Day by Day by Henry and Richard Blackaby, published by B&H Publishing Group, music by Mark Brown. <laughs>